Hi, everyone. Welcome to Heru Apps. This is podcast number eight, and this is the last segment of my podcast. And I'm going to cover SIW, System Information for Windows, by Gabriel Top Topala. Uh, this is a very nice, cool software that I've used uh, many, many times. And this is a good resource to have. It's First of all, it's really small. You install it, you leave it on your system. And when you need it, when you need a software, you just, you know, use it. Um, this will give you information about your operating system, your components on your system, the network information, and so on. I'm going to cover part of it, uh, not all of it, because there are so many things this program does. I call this program the uh, the utility knife of for computer. Um, this is, well, you'll see. I mean, uh, just looking at the interface right now, this is exactly what's what's included in the uh, in the system information for Windows. Information about your software, about your hardware, and your network. So the software, what it'll give you basically is uh, your operating system, um, the program installed, the security settings for your system, the regional settings, the file associations, like which, uh, let's say, which, um, which program will open uh, JPEG and so on. All the different processes, the DLL, the drivers, uh, auto run, all the settings about auto run, and uh, the groups and users and passwords. So that's what the software uh, section covers. Quickly going through it, the operating system will give you uh, information about your the version of Windows that's installed, like how long it's been running for, when was it installed, who installed it, the name of the uh, username, the work groups and and so on uh, this is you know information that obviously can be found uh, through your system control panel but i mean this is uh, all in one place and if you need you know a lot of information at once this is certainly a good place to look for this information uh, the uh, and then again you have a toolbar called install programs this is will just list all the programs that are installed on your system and the version and the date where it was installed. Applications. Um, this is kind of cool. Uh, this is a little bit like the, the one we just saw. But if I click on, uh, let's say, Audacity, and I'll click on it, it'll tell me exactly where the file's installed and uh, the version. And um, yeah, this is very similar to the previous uh, tab we saw, just with more details. And... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. The security tab will give you a quick information about your firewall, uh, Microsoft Security Essential. If you have that, like your antivirus, it'll give you uh, the status. Is it up to date? Does it need to be updated? Um, your security settings, are they accurate or are they poor? If they are, you should, you know, look into it for sure. And uh, different uh, licenses, if you have uh, all the different keys for your software, will be stored in here. And um, file associations. Now, that's what I was saying earlier. Uh, if I look at, uh, let's say, uh, a JPEG. I'm going to scroll till I hit JPEG. And right here, it says the description, the content. And you can see... The command right here, it opens with uh, image view, which is the program I'm running uh, to open my uh, my uh, pictures. <clears throat> so um, let's move on. The regional settings, well, this is you know your uh, your um, time zone and the information about the uh, the currency and the country and all that information and. Um, Let's just check the next one will be the groups and users. That will just tell you the, uh, the different groups and users on your system with their SID. Um, that can be very handy too. And that's pretty much it for the uh, software. I mean, I've skipped some, some, uh, some tabs, I guess, because there are a lot of them. So just install the program, click through them, see what it does, see if it's uh, useful for you. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is the hardware. Uh, 
and this one will give you information about your uh, the system summary. This is basically you know um, the name of your computer, uh, the uh, you know the number of hard drives that are installed on your system, how much physical memory, how much virtual memory, uh, the size of the uh, page file, and so on. The next one is motherboard. Uh, it'll give you the model number of your motherboard, the, uh, the version, the serial number, uh, the CPU socket. Very good information if you need to upgrade uh, upgrade any components on your motherboard. This is certainly information you'll want to know, especially the version number and the socket number if you want to uh, upgrade your CPU. Um, this is crucial information. And uh, once again, uh, there's info about the BIOS. Uh, it'll tell you some basic stuff about the BIOS, the version and the company name. Um, the CPU info, it'll, uh, once again, it'll give you info about your CPU, uh, the number of cores you've got, and how much, you know, the speed at which it's running. And um, yeah, so, I mean, memory, you, you know, you can click on the uh, different tabs and you'll see information about the... Uh, the manufacturer of the of the memory chip. Um, so I was surprised when I saw that uh, on my system I have car components, because uh, my uh, the manufacturer of my memory is Hyundai Electronics. So yeah, Hyundai is they're actually a big company. They make a lot of stuff, not only cars. Uh, but this is good info. Let's say you need to go buy another bracket of RAM. You just quickly look through here. All right, I've got uh, DDR2 PC2 6400. And the speed is uh, 400 megahertz. So you go to your nearest store, and then that's what you get. So this is, you know, good info. Uh, once again, I'm going to move on to network adapter. This gives you information about your uh, internet connection, your uh, physical connector. The video tab will give you a whole bunch of information about your uh, video card uh, device, like the uh, resolution. Uh, what's the heat? Uh, right now, mine's running at uh, 36 degrees Celsius, and the version of your Direct X, and so on. Next one, storage devices will give you um, basic information on all your disks, your hard drives that are installed in your system. Um, you see right now, that I look at the first one, it's, it gives you the uh, name of Mines of Western Digital, the size, 80 gigabyte, and it's serial ATA, and it's use, it's actually 25 degrees Celsius right now. It's the letter that's assigned to it, and if it, it actually uh, supports smart or not. And um, ports. The ports uh, will give you the um, information about your USB, your modem, and your parallel, uh, the COM ports. So uh, you might find some useful information under USB. Uh, it will list uh, all the different uh, USB ports that are on your system, and it'll tell you what's attached to them and give you more information that way. So that's quite handy. Um, this one takes quite a while to scan, but... Uh, and then uh, what else you got while it's loading? I'm gonna. It's actually uh, the power. If you want to, you know, find out what kind of settings you have for your power, the battery, the printer, and the resource for your system. Um, yeah. So right now, if I go back to the USB, um, see it says um, USB Type One, two are supported. USB Type Three, which are the newest uh, USB format is not supported for my system and uh, it'll tell you information about the different uh, audio devices it'll give you the value uh, which is well to be honest not very useful it's just a bunch of numbers and 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 well that's it <laughs> so uh, that's it for hardware and uh, let's move on to network Network information will give you, obviously, a, a bunch of information about your network, about your, uh, you know, your, here, here's all the IP address and the different uh, devices on my network, the MAC address. And it'll give you information about um, 
if you want to go on a specific device, let's say I click on my network attached storage, it'll give you the same info, the IP and the MAC address. You can do uh, scans, you can do FTP scans, HTTP scans, and it will look for, um, for a response from all these devices and it'll tell you if it's open or not. If I click on HTTP scan and I click on my NAS, it'll tell me right now that um, it has actually uh, a port open and it's uh, redirect redirecting. Um, so it gives you all that information. So that's pretty much, uh, that's a very quick uh, walk through this program. There's a lot more you can do. One cool feature I like is the uh, MAC address changer. If you want, you can technically change your, your MAC address on your system. And what you would do, you would just choose the adapter you want, put the new MAC address that has to be uh, within, um, because there's a numbering, like, like there's a convention. So it has to be um, 00, let's say 00.00.00.00.00.00 zero, zero, zero zero would not work. So you have to follow certain patterns. So something to play with. And uh, that's pretty much it, people. And just play with this. And if you like the program, the guy has a little icon here on his on his toolbar. Buy me a coffee. And uh, I think it's uh, something to consider. This is a cool program. It's free. It does a lot of stuff. And enjoy, everybody.